Hi guys and welcome back. Today we're going to have a little snoop at my workstation 2017 because I've never done one of these before and I thought it'd be quite cool. So let's take a little nosy closer at the desk. As you can see it's sort of messy still and I'm filming this midway into Inktober 2017. I won't show you too much what's in there because I want to keep that as a surprise for you guys. If you want to have a sneak peek head on over to my Instagram and you can find more pictures there. I do tend to keep a lot of notes scattered around my desk with things I need to get like refills and I've been leaving a lot of my inky stuff out recently because it's October and I just want it easy to grab and go kind of thing. I do tend to keep my ancient iPad to the side on a stand so I can have Twitch or music going while I'm working. It kind of makes me feel less lonely. Yes, I know that's a little bit sad, but never mind. We'll all move on from that. Moving on, you can see I've been fiddling around with my lighting settings. I have a couple of these lamps. They've been pretty good so far because they have three different settings. They have the warm, the standard and the daylight features and you've got the different levels of brightness as well which can be used. They're quite malleable, you can set them up how you want and what's really great is there is a USB port, oh sorry about the dust, USB port for charging stuff like the iPad or the camera. I'm currently pointing at my blue microphone which is the thing I am chatting at right now. <laughs> I think the model of it is called Nessie. To the right of my Copic stand I keep just a standard pen pot with things like your normal pens and scissors and stuff. Behind the iPad though I keep a second one which is where I keep dead pens that need refills or cartridges and that kind of thing. So they're both to the side, easy to grab if I need to and I know exactly where I stand. Right in front of you right now is the Copic case which I made a little while ago. I shall link the video above for you guys. Also, I've kind of crammed it with other pens as well, so you can see the cheat markers that I was using in a video previous. I also use them in other things. Some stuff from when I was a kid. Just anything that I had lying around that I thought I might want to grab while creating something, I put it in there. And honestly, it makes you feel really inspired. So on top of the case, I keep my little brass pig. This thing's been with me since I was like, I don't know, four, maybe three years old and it's been like the good luck pick that you hold when you're feeling poorly and it's just sort of stuck. Other things along the top include like a little tub that I've just kind of filled with loads of washi tape and stickers and post-it notes because I just like to be able to grab them and this blue tack also rammed at the back because I use that a lot. I'm really liking this Copic case because it's acting like a second shelf for on my desk for things like my date stand which I was just showing you, my tape dispenser and at the moment it's my current favourite pencil sharpener because it has a colour side which makes this the pencil shorter in lead with a sharper point. There's also my Illustrate Tor thing that I put over illustration sometimes and take a picture of and I did have a little row of these chocolates along the top and I was using them as self bribery. It's also a really great place to keep my glasses and my current fine liners and pens, my sketchbook which is like one page from completion and two little challenge sketchbook type things that one of my friends gave me. So thank you very much Finn, these are excellent. I use them as like a warm up exercise before I start doing things which I might share with you guys soon because it's been pretty fun so far. Under the desk there are two drawers which I keep bashing my knees into. The one on the left is projects on the go that I've been doing for people which I can't show you I'm afraid and then in the drawer on the right is like the spare bits of tech stuff so I've got like my mouse mat, a mouse, a really chunky keyboard that feels like it's come straight out of the 80s, a spare phone screen protector, a couple of hard drives and the world's most clicky mouse that you could ever try to use. Under the desk though is kind of a turned into a bit of a junk hole inadvertently just because I'm running out of space. It's turned into a place for extension cables, phone chargers, rolls of old wallpaper which I think would be really cool to draw on top of, a really long handled um, stapler, a portfolio, some display cases, 
and the box that my microphone came in because I can't bring myself to throw it away for some reason, I just can't. To the right of my desk is this little stack of things which I have little magnetic things on top. This is my shame rack I'm afraid. This is my little basket of started and not finished sketchbooks, so that's sad. Which is also where I got my sketchbook for Inktober this year. I was so disgruntled with myself I decided I'm just going to use it and I'm going to work my way through them. In basket number two is eclectic stuff like masking tape, whiteboard cleaner, PVA glue, a display unit I made and spare tins and pencil cases because I don't know. And the bottom basket is just simply textiles to be made into school stuff. Behind that gets kept my whiteboard because I used to use it all the time and at the moment it's been a bit redundant. I also keep my spare papers sort of tucked, wedged between the bookcase and the wall because I, again I've ran out of space. <laughs> this little beastie is, well it's meant to be a fish tackle box type thing but at the top is like my little sharps box, like compass, syringes for different inking techniques, string and like basic craft chunky things that I can't keep out anywhere else. In the drawers are also really eclectic things, but things where I don't want them to get lost, like spare highlighters and spare thin pens and just spare stuff. I mean, there's even glitter in here and there's book binding stuff and spare scalpel blades from making packaging mock-ups and all sorts of things. Yeah, again, in that bottom one, there is an all for book binding and <laughs> when I was filming this I was like oh a Lamy cartridge perfect I have a pen in my dead pen pot that I could really use it and it's the last one so I've had to add that to the list of stuff I need to get so that list just seems to keep growing. <laughs> I suppose the only thing I don't like about the case is it's kind of like a khaki green. I would really like it in purple, but I suppose that's just me. I also have all of these lovely crayons that I made for shows. People love them, but I think I want to package them better. And this is where I keep my scanner because, to be honest, I've run out of space. And I have quite a good collection of illustration and graphics and reference and illustration books and particularly I love the animal book it's got some really lovely photography and the Moana book behind the scenes oh my gosh it's amazing you could pretty much rule out the entire bookcase just for games and books so self-confession here yes I'm a nerd but you know what I'm gonna own it because it's just what I am so this lovely little basket thing I have purchased from Amazon maybe a couple of months ago and it was just to hold the random stuff that I have no room for and just to keep things a little bit more organized and it's doing a really good job it's got all sorts of things like yeah it's got paint brushes tapes Copic reference books glues spare brush pens spray pots spare pencils coloring pencils uh, crayons and ink so it's it's crazy so moving on, I gave up a small section of my wardrobe for, yep, more art stuff. So in here is my sewing machine, badge making stuff, stamp making stuff because I love carving into stuff. Oh, and there is also wood burning stuff. So I tend to just try and stack those in there out of the way because as you can tell, I could probably fill an entire room with craft stuff. Bye puppy! <laughs> So I'm just going to move the tripod back to where it belongs, I just moved it out of the way for filming the desk. This is my current tripod setup, it's not the best in the world, but it's basically a light tripod stand which I've weighed down at one end and got my little dragon ball on the side. And to be honest it makes a really good stand for my headphones which I use for editing when there's a lot of noise in the background, they're really good. And I bought this boom separately, it's again meant to be for lights and this clamp separately to attach to my camera. I went through so many rigging ideas when I first started my YouTube channel but it seems to be pretty solid so far. To my right, it's kind of like my wall of inspiration and every time I go to a con or convention I just add a bit more and a bit more and a bit more and eventually I'll end up hopefully with a wall full of wonderful art and illustration from other artists that truly inspire me which have been awesome. This is the chair that I currently use, it does have a massage feature. I don't use it very often for the massage and I do tend to just keep a blanket and a pillow on it just for comfort and warmth because 
I mean, I get cold and I like a blanket. Who doesn't like a blanket? I mean, it's pink and it's fluffy. What's not to like, right? But yeah, art stuff is completely scattered around my room. So there are a few originals that I really want to get either framed or laminate so I don't ruin them. And there are a whole bunch of stickers and awesome things from cons that I've been to recently that I want to put somewhere extra special. And it, yeah, my room doubles up as a storage room for, <laughs> well, everything. <laughs> so this is extra papers, prints that I bring to cons, um, games show stuff, signage, display stuff, activity sets and to be honest I just abandon my computer on the top because I don't know it's a good place to put it because my TV is currently broken brilliant right so I tend to watch TV on my laptop because to be honest I'm running out of choices and on the other side of the room is yet more arty stuff so that is my tablecloth that I had specially printed which I absolutely love the art display rack which I display the A3s and A4s in which works pretty well too and my pull-up pop-up stand which I use for different shows and conventions to go behind my table mostly dead space from like the waist down because well, people don't really tend to see that anyway I wanted it to be more on the top so this is basically where I feel most comfortable and happy when I'm at home you can pretty much find me here listening to an audiobook or with some game music in the background so guys thanks very much for watching like if you liked and sub if you haven't just keep doodling bye